the Fraser Valley Salmon Society, and we've organized all about we, all about fishing weekend here, and we're slowly wrapping up. We've had a pretty good day, a pretty good Friday night, a pretty good Saturday. Uh, lots of kids showed up. We had a good turnout for the certificate program, and we've signed up quite a few new members. Which is good. And you got a, a, an hour and a half to go, and everybody's getting sort of tired. Yeah, you're starting to think about tearing down. What's Herb doing there now? Herb's doing a, a membership. Oh, he's going through them, checking them all and filling out the numbers, I guess. See how many how many we sold today then, uh, Dennis? Oh, I don't know. Uh, we had about 25 memberships today, I believe. Yeah. I know I just sat here for about 15 or 20 minutes, and I sold what Herb about six or seven. Wow. Pretty quick ones, so it was pretty good. Yeah. And how about our brochures there? We looked like we almost got out of some of them. Yes, we were out of brochures for a while, and we had to go get some replacements, and, yeah. and I see they're not too bad. We still got a few. We probably got about 50 left of each. So you went and got 50 more done. Yeah, we've gone through a lot of material today. Uh, good interest on the public. Lots of, lots of kids. And lots of new timers fishing. We we're running this fish simulator there, and the kids got a good bang out of that. And, and also the, the goldfish racing. The kids really love. Yeah, they that like too. that, eh? Oh yeah, yeah. They do like that. And the guys did a phenomenal job of, of the of fly fishing and all the booths. Everybody's been very dedicated, and they put in a lot of long, hard hours to right. make this thing happen. You put lots in too. Oh, I did. Yeah lots, yeah. lots of stuff goes into making a show. Yeah. So well, people they, have to realize that there's lots of work, but we can't do it without. Going Volunteers. How many people do you think have been through the door? It's hard to say, eh? Oh, hard to say. 4,000? 5,000? I couldn't say, but quite a few, yes. yeah. And we do have a big facility out here, so it's sort of, you know, we've got the two floors, and what did they say when we got, it was 4,300 square feet of floor? That's I don't remember. Big anyway, two arena floors, so, yeah. So. Okay, well, we'll ba ba back, back to the organization, organizing. Okay, as we said, all the booths are manned pretty well by Fraser Valley Salmon Society members, and without our memberships, we, we don't go we don't go very far. So, you know, our volunteers are a big asset, and our membership now is close to 500 because of today, I believe. Good. So we're, we're, we're moving, and we're we're still going on to bigger and better things. Okay. Hi, I'm Curtis Mumpin of Pure Fishing. This is some of our Mercy products and Trilene and whatnot, fishing line. But the real thing here is how to color the heron picture. You know, you got to get the colors right. If you're going to win the contest, you got to get the water just so, and the rubber duck has to be yellow. So. That's that. I think we got to go back to Berkeley here. <laughs> <laughs> so these are flies, dry flies, coronavans, uh, some attractors for fishing Bobby Martin, or cutthroat, uh, some leech patterns, all that kind of stuff. Some of our lines, fire lines. Four, two, four, seven, three, seven. So I could come here pretty well and. And, and tell you what type of fishing I'm going to be doing, and you'd set me right up, eh? Oh, you Is bet. Is that the you idea? Bet. You bet. Okay. And what would the beginner use, for an example, for your line? A beginner? Yeah, uh, for poundage and whatnot. What would you say? Probably a uh, beginner would go to maybe a premium strength line. This one here. Uh -huh. One of our rigs we got. Eight, three, two. The HMG series spin cast rods with the the center, center drag system, very easy to operate while, uh, while you're fighting a fish. Right. Probably a beginner would have some fun with that. Seven, three, okay. seven. More advanced, double wine. Mm -hmm. Salmon, this one's for salmon or steelhead. Bigger salmon. This is an IM7 10 6 rod. Lighter. This is a Canadian or Kodiak series. Canadian has uh, series has taken over for this one. Maybe for sockeye, uh, coho, uh, level wine with a 5600 C4 series abu. Um, this one has the smoker, smoke colored uh, fire line on it. The line I really like to use. No stretch. Fly fishing. This is a. 906 uh, HMF X 
fly rod, two piece. Uh, nice rod, my favorite rod. Well, not quite my favorite rod. This is my favorite rod. Uh, this is my backpack of rod. This is a, a, a four piece, um, five weight. Um, really nice rod, very compact with the uh, roll class. Uh, this is a 56D Fenwick reel. No Fenwick line. It's important. Four, two, four, seven, three, this is not a Fenwick product. This is a big sturgeon, uh, sturgeon rod and reel. This is an old 1262 blank. 424-869. I built this one about 15 years ago, uh, and it's still one of my favorite rods. It's a 1262 F uh, fly blank I use for uh, center pinning in the springtime, smaller fish, go home. 424-878. That's that. That's all. Is that your final answer? <laughs> That's my final. I can call a friend. Call a friend. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Hi, how you doing there? All right, I see you got some center pins here, eh? Uh, yeah, let me tell you about them a little bit here. This oh, one's here. Oh, these ones here are the old style. They must probably be about 30, 40 years old some of these days. They're made in England. And people just seem to like to use them because you are one to one in a fish here, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, these ones here, it used to be one of the things we have a long time ago in the Vetter River, and the Fraser River, right? Everybody used to do this. These, these guys here, the two wooden ones, these ones, I don't know how old they are. This one uh, could be 50 years old, maybe, eh? Okay. I don't know. Uh, they use them in a salt truck, I guess. They made them out of, part of it out of brass and wood, so it don't, uh, uh, don't or salt water don't eat them up, eh? Okay. I guess they had a great concern with corrosion, eh? Yes, they do. Okay. And uh, these ones here, these ones are newer, newer ones. Just in the last while they put them out. They use them for salmon fishing, the salt truck, and the Fraser River. Mm -hmm. They use them. The moochers, uh, eh? Moochers, yeah. yeah. They use them out of boats, in the ocean, or in the Fraser River. Mm -hmm. These are a little bit newer ones. And the uh, last ones here, these two reels here, they are center pin reels too. Okay. But they are the, a new design. Uh, I'll tell you about it a little bit. These ones here, uh, they geared up. They geared up. They, 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 uh, uh, they turn pretty quick. They bring in a lot of line. They bring in, uh, this one brings in about 22 inches of line every every turn you got on it. Eh? Mm -hmm. They're very quick. It's easy casting. No backlash. All you do is turn it over. You got a bigger reel, just like a center pin, uh, just like a a, a, a spinning reel. Mm -hmm. You turn it back, and then it picks it up pretty quick. This one here is one style. It's nice for spring salmon in the Fraser or salt bass. This little one here, this one here, I use it for coho, trout, or sockeye fishing in the Fraser River, right? Someone said that one there, a local chap had the patent on that uh, design, is that right? That's right, the local guy has the patent on it, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, this one here is very quick, it's faster than most of the level ones. Right, and I take it the distance when they turn it sideways is the just distance, phenomenal, right? The distance, I guess. I tried them out. You could cast no problem. 200 yards of line off a fishing reel. Oh. This one here. And what about backlash? No backlash. For really? Reason. When you open it up, it's got a free flow. And uh, when you when you 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 bait you bait head to water, everything just stops right there. All you do is just turn it back. You're ready to go. Hmm. Is that an adaption that you can put on any center pin or just uh, specific no, to no. that reel? No, this is just for a certain kind of this type of reel. Okay, that's a custom it's reel a custom then. made, it's a new designed, uh, newly designed, custom made center pin reel. Oh, and, and if a fellow wanted to get one of those, where could he go? Any uh, idea? 
Well, right now, it's hopefully we're going to start manufacturing it. Okay. In the next little while, and hopefully by the summer, we'll have it in the market. Great. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.